first thing you want to do before you put your new tube in is just to try and see if you can feel where the puncture came from. So run your hand along the inside of the tyre all the way around, see if you can feel anything sharp in there. And then similarly, just check the rim, inside the rim, have a look here, see if it's anything sharp here that might be protruding, that might have caused the puncture. If you don't find anything at all, that's a bit worrying because obviously something caused it, and if you haven't found what it is, it may just puncture the new one as well. So also run your hand around the outside of the tyre, see if there's any glass sticking in, any thorns sticking in, anything like that, that might need taken out. Right, in this case there isn't, so we're going to go ahead and put in the new tube. So find the hole where the valve goes, pull the tube to the side. You might, in a new tube, you might need to put one or two pumps full of air in it, just a very small amount of air just to stop it from being completely flat when it comes out of the packet. Right, put the valve down through the hole. And try to do this without creasing the tube if possible. So now you've got to try and feed the tube into the tyre all the way around and get it just looking neat, get it sat right over the rim so it's not going to bulge when you pump it up. Try not to get it crossing over on itself, just so it stays the same way up all the way around. done that and you checked it looks reasonably neat which mine doesn't really but I'll give it a go anyway right now move back to the valve push the valve right up into the tire and then ease the beading of the tire rim just over the rim like that all the way around be able to do this hopefully with your hands if not you might need the help of the tire lever try not to pinch the inner tube between the rim and the tire wall okay so here it looks like the tire it's a bit tight so we're not going to be able to get it on with our hands so just use the tyre lever to tip it over the rim of the tyre of the um, wheel but make sure you're not pinching the inner tube which I am doing now so. and then just ease it over the rim of the wheel Go round again, just checking that there's no bits of inner tube showing like that, for instance, which could lead to a bulge. So I'm just going to poke that back under. Okay, when that's done, pull the valve back down. Still got the nut that came on it, which I haven't. Yes, well done. I found it. Then screw that on. There you go. Now blow it up. 